are you and who do you want to become? Is it the person that you've always been? Is that who you are? Or do you want to step into a new version of yourself? You can make that decision right now. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the journey of life that you were on and hopefully the journey of self-development that you're on as well. We're gonna talk a lot about self-development and improving yourself every single day. Because if you're listening to me, if you're watching this, if you're seeing this, you're here because there's something inside of you that says, I have more potential inside of me and I wanna do whatever I can to get it out of me. Now, I understand you feel that way, but sometimes our actions don't necessarily line up with that. And the reason why is this is because there's almost two sides of yourself that are battling. There's your old self, which is telling you old stories that you might have been given by your parents or by society or by your brothers or sisters. An accumulation of everything that you've heard and everything that you've seen. People that are around you that say, oh yeah, you know, this is where I'm going to be my entire life. Then there's the other side of you that's like, but this is who I could be. And sometimes if you're out there, you've probably felt like some of those, you almost said like an internal battle between the two of them. And so we're going to talk about the journey of self-development. And I see it as a journey and I don't see self-development as a, as something that I do. And I hope you don't see it as something that you do. Kind of like, you know, people say, oh, well, you know, I went to the gym today, right? I don't see self-development as something that I just do on a daily basis. I see it as an actual lifestyle. Like it is part of who I am. Now, it didn't start off that way, but then I developed it and did it over and over and over again, and it's become a lifestyle. And the reason why I say that is because I know that I'm gonna be taking this lifestyle, this journey, my entire life. The, the, my very first mentor had a phrase that he used to always say, and it's a, a Japanese word, and the word is kaizen. And kaizen means constant, never-ending improvement. And literally, I am obsessed with that word. My business is named after that. My LLC is named after it. My tattoo on my wrist is the Roman numeral for 10,000. It's an X with the line above it. So I see it every single day because they say it takes about 10,000 hours to master something. And so I see this every single day reminding myself that I don't think it's going to take 10,000 hours to master myself. I think it's going to take my entire life to master myself. I think I'm going to be doing it every single day until the day I die. And for some of you out there, might, that might kind of give you some anxiety like, oh my God, I'm never going to get to be the person I want to become. But what you should see it as, you're a constant unfolding, always changing. And Kaizen is such a beautiful thing. It's constant, never-ending improvement. You can always get better. There's always another version of yourself. There's always another unfolding of who you are. To the point where, where my mastermind, which I'll be you know, announcing to you guys in the next you know, couple months, is called Kaizen Mastermind, where it's literally a 12-month program with four events where I work with everybody that's inside of it. And it's called Kaizen because it's constant, never-ending improvement. And the journey is what it's all about. But here's what most people don't realize is most people think about where they want to be and they look at where they currently are and they see this massive gap between where they want to be and who they are and they get down on themselves because it seems so far. But what I want to tell you is this. The beautiful thing is that I tell myself every single day when I wake up, all I have to do is be 1% better than I was yesterday. That's it. I don't have to be better than anybody else. I don't have to be 10 times better than what I was yesterday. Today, I just need to be 1% better. I need to take 1% better actions. I need to have 1% better decisions. I need to have 1% better habits. I need to have 1% better thoughts. I need to take 1% better care of myself. I don't need to be a completely different person today. Now I can completely switch up who I want to be. You know, one of my favorite phrases, Alan Watts says, you're under no obligation to be who you were five minutes ago. And you can completely shift yourself from one day to another. But for some people to think of all of that change becomes very stressful. And so it might be easier just for you to think 1% better, just 1% better. And the reason why I say that is this, is your results and your current circumstances in your life, they are the results of your habits, your traits, your behaviors, and your thoughts of your past. Your results where you currently are right now are lagging from your past. So whatever happened in your past brought you to this current moment. Results don't come right away. And so where you are right now is based off of habits and thoughts and traits that you had six months ago or a year ago. And now they've caught up with you to where you currently are, whether they're good habits or bad habits, good traits or bad traits, good thoughts or bad thoughts. 
It's a lagging. It doesn't, it's not like you immediately start thinking positive and then you're immediately positive. No, it takes time. It's not like you immediately start taking action and immediately you get results. No, all of your results in your current circumstances are lagging, showing you who you are and who you were six months ago and what you have created. Now, the reason why this depresses people is because they look at their current circumstances, they try to make changes right now, and they expect that things are going to be different yesterday. You know, it's like, we don't even expect for them to be better tomorrow. We expect for them to be better yesterday because we're in this world of constant, like everything is at the palm of our, like in our palm, it's at our fingertips. It's, it's instant gratification when success, happiness, results are all based off of delayed gratification. Because what you do right now, you will, will dictate where you're going to be in six months. Where you are currently right now dictates what you did six months ago. And so for a lot of people, they look at where they are, they try really hard for one day or one week, and then they're like, I'm not getting results. No, it takes about six months until you start, those results start catching up with what you've been doing and the actions you've been taking and the habits and the traits and qualities and things that you think of. And your habits come, so if we're talking about changing your habits, your habits come from the story that you're telling yourself inside of your head about who you are. So you're currently all day long telling yourself a story of who you are. And you could say, they could be good things, they could be bad things. You could say, you know, you might have this program running in your head of I'm lazy. You might have this program running in your head of I procrastinate. You might have a pro uh, program running in your head of I'm overweight because everyone in my family is overweight. You might have a program running in your head of, I love to sleep in. You might have a program running in your head of, I hate working out. You might have a program running in your head of, I love food too much and that's why you can't lose weight. What is your program that's running in your head? Because the program is going to dictate the habits that you have. The habits that you have dictate the actions that you take and the actions that you take dictate your results. And so you have to be able to break these down and say, where am I currently? What do I think about myself? Because my habits, my actions, and my results will dictate, will, will come from what I think of myself. That I'm lazy, that I procrastinate, that I'm overweight, that I love food too much, that I uh, don't like working out, whatever it is. So in order to change your habits, you have to change your internal story. That's the secret. What is your internal story? And here's the interesting thing is that, I, I've said this many times that most people don't know who they are on a deep, deep, deep level until they start working with myself or a coach or someone else or reading books or working on this personal development journey that they go on because they, they don't realize the internal program that's running in the background that dictates their habits and their actions, and their behaviors and their thoughts and their life, really what it is. And so it goes back to what I was talking about at the very beginning where it's there's who you've been programmed as. And it's not like there's some evil person sitting like, ha I'm going to program Rob into being this way. It's just everything that I've seen, everything that I've heard. And then there's who I want to be. And sometimes there's the battle. The reason why it's the battle is because there's that internal story that I've been telling myself my entire life. And the story of who I want to be are kind of at a battle. Your habits come from the thought of this is who I am. You need to be very careful of saying who you are and not even just saying that out to the world, but saying that into your own head of who you are, because your bank account is a result of your spending habits. Your bank account is a result of your earning habits. Your body is a result of your eating habits. And your body is also a result of your working out habits or lack thereof. Your business is a result of how much hard work you put in. Your business is also a result of how much dedication that you put into everything that you do. So once again, there's a little bit of a lag, but you have to be able to sit back and say, okay, my current circumstances are not where I wanna be, which means that six months ago, three months ago, I took actions to get myself here. So in three to six months, if I change my actions right now, that means my results and my circumstances in three or six months could be completely different. One of the, the a phrase that I love about this James Clear says, every action is like a vote for the person that you want to become. Now, you want to become or you tell yourself that you are to get even more clear on it. So if I say, you know what, I'm a lazy person, but I, I identify that and I say, I don't want to be lazy anymore. Okay, well then what happens is when I'm noticing myself, I need to get up and do some push-ups. 
whatever it is, but I'm on the couch looking at Instagram. I have a moment of decision where I can either play in to my old story or I can notice it become self-aware and say, hold on, this is a moment of transformation for me. I'm noticing my lazy habit right now of not wanting to get up. I need to conquer that lazy habit and get up and do 50 push-ups, go for a run, whatever it is. If I'm the type of person that's like, oh yeah, I'm overweight because my entire family is overweight and it's just, it runs in my family. Well, the next time I catch myself not eating the things that I need to eat, I need to become very self-aware and say, do I want to continue with my old programming of I'm overweight because my family is overweight or do I want to make a different decision right now and make a healthier decision because that is who I want to become. If I'm sitting there and my, my alarm clock goes off in the morning, I have a decision to make in that moment of, do I want to continue being the lazy person that sleeps through and hits snooze nine times? Or do I want to become the person that wakes up when the sun comes up and actually puts time into the morning routine? You have a million decisions throughout the course of the day of who you're going to be. It could either be who you've always been and who you've identified yourself as your entire life or who you want to become and who you now want to step into being. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. And the thing about it is this, is it's never any really big habit that changes your life. It's a bunch of little teeny tiny boring decisions. I always say that success is not sexy. It's just a bunch of little teeny tiny things done every single day, right? You may have heard me say it before, nobody dies from eating one hamburger, right? Nobody dies from eating a hamburger. But if they have thousands of hamburgers over their lifetime, well, they could be clogging up their arteries from that. It's a bunch of little teeny tiny decisions. Well, the reverse is that is also true as well. Nobody becomes uh, super fit by doing one push up. No, it's a bunch of little teeny tiny decisions. It's push ups. It's going for the run. It's working out a little bit longer than you were planning. It's, you know, looking at yourself in the gym and saying, you know what? I need to eat healthier. It's changing your eating habits. It's a bunch of little teeny tiny decisions, it's not one big massive event. It's tiny decisions day after day after day after day that compound into massive results years down the road. You know, nobody gets smart from reading one book. No, it's the little tiny habits of saying, I'm going to read 10 pages every single day. The average book is about 300 to 350 pages. So I should finish a book every single month, which means that I could finish 12 books this month. I'm sorry, this year. When was the last time you did 12 books and finished 12 books in the entire year, right? It's not about conquering the world at this very moment. It's just little teeny tiny decisions and little teeny tiny habits that make you who you are. So you need to decide who are you and who do you want to become? Is it the person that you've always been? Is that who you are? Or do you want to step into a new version of yourself? Are you the type of person to sleep in? Or are you the type of person to wake up early? You can make that decision right now and then have your actions line up with whatever you decide. Are you the type of person to spend a lot of money and buy a lot of luxurious things? Or are you the type of person to save your money as it comes in? You can make that decision right now. Are you the type of person to, you know, skip workouts? Or are you the type of person that says, no matter how tired I am, I'm going to work out five times a week. I'm going to work out Monday through Friday, every single day, no matter what happens. Are you the type of person to eat unhealthy? Or are you the type of person to look at the calories and the intake that you have every single day and do the research needed to figure out what it takes to have a healthy diet? You decide. There's nobody else in this world that's decide what's just the best thing. And the thing that, that most people see in living in this world of instant gratification is we scroll on Instagram and we see people who have these incredible bodies and go, yeah, but I'm just not there. And we see people that have these incredible lives and we think, yeah, I'm just not there. We have to see people have these incredible houses and think, yeah, I'm just not there. You see people have these cars and these travel and you think, I'm just not there. This happiness, this joy, this love, and you think, I'm not there. You're not there yet, but you can change your life right in this very moment, which will then change your circumstances in the future not in this current moment because we're so used to instant gratification and we think, hey, I'm, if I make a change today, I want results tomorrow. And that's not how it works. One of my favorite phrases is the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. All too often, we're so used to getting instant gratification in everything that we do by having our phones with us. I can get my food delivered. Everything's right now, right now, right now. 
right? And so we think with the journey of a thousand miles, it begins with a single step that within two weeks, I should be at the thousandth mile. When in reality, every day is just another step. And so I'm 14 days in, I'm super excited to go and I start into this new path and I'm excited day one, I'm excited day two and day 14 hits and I'm like, I'm over this. I wanna give up, I'm not as far along. I'm not seeing the results that I want. I'm not seeing the body that I wanted. I'm not seeing the bank account that I wanted. I'm not seeing the, the happiness, whatever it is that you're working towards. When in reality, we're not supposed to be at mile 1000 yet. We're only 14 steps in because every day is just one extra step. And you can't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. If I just started working out and eating healthy today, I can't look at someone on Instagram and go, oh, but I'll never be there. Because you're looking at someone who could have been on this health journey for five years, for four years, for 10 years. I can eventually be there and I can tell myself I can eventually be there, but it's going to take a, a single step every single day, 1% better today than I was yesterday, 1% better than I was yesterday, 1% better than I was yesterday, 1% better than what I was yesterday. And so you have, to, you have to figure out who do you want to become in 10 years? Tony Robbins says, most people overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in a decade. And so you think, who do I wanna be in 10 years? What type of bank account do I want? Business do I want? Family do I want? Relationships do I want? Happiness do I want? Cars do I want? Clothes, whatever it is that, that, that tickles your family, whatever tickles your tots, right? What do you want? You have to figure out what you want in 10 years. And then you have to look and you say, do my current actions line up with that life? Do my current actions match up with the future that I'm going to have? Do my current actions and my current habits line up with the income, the person that, you know, if, if I, if I want to make a million dollars in a year, do my actions today line up with the type of person that has a million dollar income? And what you do is you see the life that you want and you start going, well, if I want to be that person in 10 years, if I want to be in this place in 10 years, who do I need to become in order to have that life? And what you do is you start making a list. You start planning out who you need to become. And then what you do, you take that list and you put it into today. And you say, okay, well, the, you know, the perfect version of myself would wake up early. Okay, I'm going to make sure that I wake up early tomorrow morning. Perfect version of myself would work out five times a week. All right, well, then I need to work out tomorrow. And you start making these little teeny tiny incremental changes. And every little tiny habit and trait and decision compounds on top of itself. It's never what you need to do. And this is going to sound, it's going to make sense once I tell you this. It's going to sound like I'm actually saying, going against what I just said, but I'll explain it. It's never what you need to do to get the life you want. It's who you need to become in order to get the life that you want. Now, I understand that you said, Rob, the past 18 minutes, you've been talking about all of the things that I need to do. Yes, but you have to realize this. It's easier to do those things when you become the person that does those things. Because we have this internal story that's going on in our head. So if I look at who I want to be in 10 years and I say, what habits and traits and all of that do I need to put into myself and instill into myself in order to have this life, then you will automatically, if you become that person, then you will automatically do those things that you need to do. And so you have to realize though that the better, beautiful thing about life in success and happiness and joy and all the things that you want is you're only a couple small habits away from the life that you want. You really truly are. Like we think there's all of these millions of things we need to change in our life. You're five to 10 small habits away from a completely different person a year from today. And that should get you excited. You're, you probably need to, there's a few, I'm going to give you a list of most of the people listening and watching this. I'm going to Get the majority of your things out of the way right now. Number one, you probably need to wake up earlier. Number two, you probably need to have a morning routine. Number three, you probably need to meditate. Number four, you probably need to read more. Number five, you probably need to eat healthy. Number six, you probably need to stop procrastinating. Number seven, you probably need to stop making excuses. Number eight, you probably need to take full ownership of everything in your life. Um, number four, you probably need to start, I'm sorry, number nine, you probably need to, uh, to work out four times a week at least. And number 10, you probably need to stop watching TV and stop watching the news. That's the majority of people who are listening to this. And those are little tiny things done every single day. It's not like you need to run a thousand miles right now. It's just, what do I need to do out of those 10 things? And what do I need to do outside of those 10 things and put them into my day and make sure that I'm doing them every single day and improving every single day. It's not about being a completely different person tomorrow. It's about being 1% better tomorrow than you were today. So you have to decide. 
with this personal development and life journey? Is this a journey that you want to take? Is this a lifestyle that you want to have? Of I want to get better every single day. Of Kaizen. Of constant, never-ending improvement in everything that you do. Is it a hobby or is it a lifestyle? Is it something that you just do like going and playing tennis on the weekends? Or is this who you are? That's what you have to realize. And you have to realize this. When you try to push yourself, there's always going to be resistance. At the point of change in your life is when you're going to meet the most resistance. You have to push through them. And so what I would say to you right now, if you have time, take five minutes, get a pen and paper out and ask yourself, what are the five to 10 little small habits that you need to change in yourself? Identify them. Take action right now. And the second thing that I'm going to say is how can you make it easier to take those little tiny habits and put them in your day every single day to just become 1% better? That's it. But you have to decide right now, is this a hobby to you or is it a lifestyle? Are you on the road of constant, never-ending improvement? That's Once again, that is constant, never-ending, which means that you do it every single day. Constant, never-ending improvement? Or is it just a hobby of something that you do sometimes? If it's a hobby, no judgment. That's beautiful. You can do whatever you like in this world. That's what's cool about it. You can do whatever you want. But if it's a lifestyle, you got to get serious and realize all you have to do is just become a tiny bit better every single day. Focus on small incremental changes and remind yourself every morning, it's only about getting 1% better than you were yesterday. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanna learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. You just saved yourself 18 to 19 years of figuring it out. When I talk about being successful, it doesn't just mean money. It's just a bunch of little unsexy things. And that's what we're gonna dive into, seven really unsexy things.